think I literally shot this three times. I'm so tired. Get the camera and I'll show you around. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. It's raining outside, it's really ugly, and I really want to shoot something and I think the only thing I could do right now is shoot a story time for you guys. I really want to build this uh, portion of the vlog where I tell stories because there's a lot of stuff that has happened to me in the past that's pretty unbelievable and I kind of want to just, I don't know, share the story because it is they are pretty funny. They're really funny stories. The last video I made is a little cringy, shitty, but I will keep trying to make them funnier and less cringy. I promise. For this story time, I'm going to be talking about my top three funniest camping stories. Here we go. Number three. Let me paint you a picture. It's August long weekend. I'm 16 years old. I just went camping with like 12 of my friends. I was 16 years old. What a little baby. Working, working at Walmart. A working baby. And also irrelevant. So thankfully we all set up our tents before the rain started to come down. Well, that was smart. And then it rained hard. Hard. Yes, thank you. It was torrential rain. Like bam, it all started to come down like from the sky, right? Am I telling the story or are you gonna tell the story? So then all of a sudden there was like this Jeep that pulls up in this camp site like right, of, right in front of us. And this Jeep comes in and there's like girls and guys and they're all wearing like white one piece like Le Chateau kind of clothing, like club clothing and it's all white and it's pouring rain and they start setting up their tent in the rain. Who wears white when they're camping and in the rain? And in the rain. And it's see-through. <laughs> yes, and it's see-through. I mean, I could have helped. Yeah, right. I, no, I, I, seriously, I could have helped. I mean, I did yell out. I was like, hey, do you guys need help? The butchy guys turned around, muscly. Don't talk to our girls, brah. I was like, bye. Fine with me, I don't care. I was trying to help. So 20 minutes later, nothing is like nothing is up. They're still trying to put together like the you know the sticks for the tent and it's all wobbly. You can tell they're new. That's like a brand new tent because like you can, when they took the bag out of the car, it was like you can tell that it was like it was still in plastic. It was like they literally went to Walmart, bought a tent, and brought it to the campground and then try to try to set it up. I mean, you can tell these are like you know, they have money and they don't really care. So yeah, 20 minutes later, they all give up. Girls are sitting in the truck already. They already abandoned it a long time ago. Uh, the guys are still put, trying to put it together. They give up. They all jump into the Jeep and boom, take off. They don't give a shit. They leave the tent behind. Now, mind you, this is me at 16 years old. <laughs> I had, you know, no money, still living at home. But there was a tent that I knew was being abandoned right in front of me. And also they like kind of like pissed me off. So I basically went over there when the rain stopped. I took, I dismantled whatever they had, put it nicely in the bag, zipped it up and brought it over to my campground and I kept it. And you know what's funny is that that camp, that tent, actually I had it for like three years. So it was really funny that every time we went camping, cause we did a lot at that age, we, I was the one that would show up <laughs> sitting in my own tent like a baller. <laughs> it was great. Story number two. It's Canada Day long weekend, July 1st or whatever weekend that was. I was 19 years old and I was camping with some of my friends. Yeah, like about a hundred of them. There was 10 of us and and the campgrounds in Ontario, Canada have this really strict rule on long weekend uh, camping that you can't bring any alcohol on site. No one was allowed to bring alcohol. We didn't care and We were a bunch of jackasses and we didn't listen to that rule whatsoever. So for disclaimer I was one of those stupid rebellious angry jackass teenager kids So please don't do this if you're watching this and you're the same age as I was earlier <laughs> So we were all drunk and we lit one too many fireworks <laughs> Okay, maybe not that big. Like, still, fireworks. Like, just going, going, going. Music, blasting. I don't know what the music was, but picture like that. Da, da, da. So with all that chaos, obviously the park rangers pull up. They're looking around. 
grab our alcohol bottles that we started drinking from and most of us are already hammered. Open the bottle and just pour it all out. Right in front of us. One after the other. We were so mad. We were so mad. This is a three day long weekend we were looking forward to. It just started. Yes, we were being rude and obnoxious, but that was our alcohol and that was stuff that we bought for everyone and everyone was just livid. Then they walk around like cops with their little flashlights and just shining in everyone's eyes to see who is drunk. Obviously, everyone. Obviously. Obviously. So they tell us, first thing tomorrow morning, as soon as the sun comes up, you guys are all packing this stuff up and taking off. You guys are, we're canceling your your reservation. You guys are all going home. This is it. It's all done. Ruined all your chances of staying here. <laughs> now picture this, like as we're like people are yelling back and forth because there's like a few of us, right? There's like all the yelling is coming back and forth. In the background is like fireworks still going off. <laughs> like just a magical display of colors as, <laughs> as we're yelling at each other. With all that happening and my fit of rage that I didn't even know I had, I just went and grabbed all the white uh, plastic chairs that were on the campground that belonged to the campground and I just started chucking them chucking them into the water now please don't do this this is a terrible idea but this is what I did so yeah people just like stop yelling just looking at me and I'm just I'm just launching them into the water we were going home there was no there was no changing that and I was upset and I was young no excuse all right number one number one story here we go we heard that there was this campground that was called the party campground and we were like why is it called the party campground like what happens here this is still a long weekend party uh, story we didn't learn anything from the last story that's obvious so we just drive into this place to an open field we pick any you can pick any spot you want it's just wherever you want so we picked like near kind of near the road near a telephone pole um, and we just like set up all our stuff and we were using the car lights to see what we were doing because it was like 11 p.m. We couldn't see anything. We didn't even know what we were doing. It was very, 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 very dark. We didn't, we did not know what we were getting ourselves into. <laughs> so everything's up. I got really, I'm really good at putting this tent up. You know, it's been three years. I, I know what I'm doing. I'm sitting back, looking at the stars. Peaceful night, no music, quiet. You can hear the crickets. Where's the party? It's totally a lie. It's like super quiet. You can't hear any, like you can hear people breathing. It's like, what's going on? Like, and then it happened. Chaos erupted. You hear in distance, four school buses come rolling by. Lights blasting from the, from the windows. There was a stage built on top of each bus. People dancing on the bus already. It's a, it's like, I don't know, like 12 o'clock, it was like midnight as it was coming in. They look like they've been partying like since yesterday. Like this is like buses that people have made. They're like spray painted. This is not a company that like found a hundred people and decided to come to this campground. This is like literally probably like four friends or something that own buses. I don't even understand how, who owns buses? So as the buses started to like come in and start parking, I was like, this is like a little burning man. <laughs> And then we all went over there. We were just looking, we were like, you know, dancing, whatever. But this lasted throughout the night, five, six a.m., seven a.m. Like it got to the point that I couldn't sleep. I was tired. I, I didn't want to hear, the, the music was blasting at the exact same level that it was at 11 o'clock. And this is like, 7 a.m., 6 a.m. in the morning, it was just blasting it. As hard as it was blasting before, it was blasting just as hard as now. I finally fell asleep and then I woke up. And when I woke up, I opened the tent, I looked outside, and there was people everywhere, passed out. People on our lawn, people on their lawn, just people everywhere. Like even in the road, like where the cars would have like, oh yeah, because no one's allowed to drive after a certain time, right? So that way, like, no, there was no accidents and stuff. Uh, there was people like passed out on the road and the gravel road. It's just like just people everywhere. And then we, I turn around and to the left of us, th there was a car that had somebody drove drunk high, hit the pole and crashed the car into the pole. Now there was no driver, no one's around, nobody even like cared. 
I was like, what is going on? It's so crazy. So then I turn around and I'm looking like for the buses and then there's on top of the bus, there's a girl just like dancing. No music, You're still dancing. And she's topless. It's <laughs> just dancing to no music whatsoever. <laughs> so we just literally just, we just packed all our stuff up and just left. That was an absolutely wild night. Mind you, I'm sure everyone has stories like this. I hope that you guys enjoyed these stories. If you guys want to hear more, there, I have so many more stories. Um, you guys keep our vlog life alive. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you guys at the next vlog. Peace out.